So you want to main jacks. Well, do you like lanterns? Do you like helicopters? Do you like a three hit passive? Do you like a lot of eyes? And do you like having a real weapon? Then Jax, the Grandmaster at Arms, is for you. Jax has easily the most boss ass, big dick, long lantern, amazing lore. And I'm going to give you the short version. He's a mysterious warrior who has mastered the use of almost every weapon imaginable and defeats any and all he comes across. So he chooses to dumb himself down by using a brass lamp post as its weapon to give his opponents a fighting chance. Jax, the mid to late game hyper carry murder fest of a purple caped god in a multi eyed human form, demolishes your anus using nothing but a crooked brass lamp post because he feels he should give you a chance at victory. Holy shit. Jax has no righteous cause, no family to fight for, no revenge to carry out, no noble land to protect. He's just a dude who loves to beat the shit out of people and chooses a crooked lamppost to have a more enjoyable time with it. Ladies and gentlemen, we may have arguably the most badass champion in League of Legends. That's why they call him the champ. Why is that guy's name... February 7th, 2016. Maybe it's when he was born. <laughs> in game, Jax actually brings that power fantasy in his lore to bear with his kit. Jax is one of the original 40 champions in League and is the OG late game carry. He's the OG snowballer, the OG duelist, and the OG burster. He's the OG, oh fuck, Jax has began scaling champion. There's not a single person watching this video that has not fought a Jax, and I'm willing to bet that all of you have had your lower abdomen light up a beautiful orange color when he shoved his lamppost up your ass. Jax is a hard split pusher, one of the best duelists in the game, and can win a 1v2, 1v3, even maybe a 1v4 without breaking a sweat if you're good enough and if you're fed enough. He also is one of the most nostalgic PlayStation 2 games ever made. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test. Jax's passive is attacking, it makes you attack more, which lets you attack more. Your auto attacks increase your attack speed. The bonus is based off level and lasts two and a half seconds. It can stack up to eight times and falls off every quarter second per stack. And well, you know, stack math. So Jax being a major duelist in the old school form means he's extremely auto attack reliant. So when trading with him, the more he attacks, the more he, well, the more he attacks. If he keeps attacking, he attacks more. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's a very strong passive. At level 16, it's a natural 88% increase in attack speed just for attacking. And when you get to his ultimate as W, you will know why that is so crazy. Jax's Q is Leap Strike. I got him, don't worry about, don't worry about me, buddy. Ugh! Do you think I can make a joke out of this? Like, it took me 15 minutes trying to figure out what to call it. It's just a jump. He just, he just jumps. He just, he just, this job is getting harder. Jax jumps to an ally, an enemy, or a ward, and he does damage if it's an enemy. That's it. That's all it is. You see, you see what material I can make out of this? I can't. It's just a jump. He just, he just jumps. I mean, it's a great ability. You know, short cooldown, activated relatively fast, decent damage can be used to ward hop, but it's, it's just a jump. It's just a jump. It's just a Jax's W is an auto attack reset. God, Jax is just so basic. I have like no good names for his move. It's just an empowered auto attack. It just makes him stronger. All the old champions are so damn easy. It's not to find humor for this basic ass purple coat bitch. You empower your next auto attack or Q. It also resets it. That's it. There's nothing else. Jax's W is even more basic than his Q. It's a simple empowerment and also an auto attack reset. You can use it for your Q, but that's rarely a good idea unless you're chasing down a low health enemy. And the auto attack reset simply gets you more bang for your buck almost every time. It's extra damage to the already extra damage from your Q and the already extra damage kind of sore from your passive because you're attacking more, which means extra damage. And it, it's just, it's just an auto attack reset. Jax's E is doing the helicopter dick. Okay, see, fun moves now. We're not done. We're not- I don't give a shit. Fuck it, any. Not literally, that's wrong. You block all basic attacks for two seconds, and also reduce all AoE damage you take by 25%, and then you stun all nearby enemies after the two seconds for one second. The damage is increased by 20% for each auto attack dodge, with a maximum of 100% increase, and I identify myself as an Apache helicopter. Jax's E is a really unique move in League of Legends. After starting the dodge channel, you basically become tankier in every retrospect except for single target spells. Then the ever looming threat of a stun coming your way, which translates to Jax getting way more stacks in, and the fact that he can get an auto attack during his counter strike really makes this move pretty strong. Finally, Jax's ultimate is Thwunk Thwunk Smash. Thwunk Thwunk Smash. 
Thwonk, Thwonk, Smash. Need Thwonk, get Thwonk, Becky Lynn is Smash. Passively, every third auto attack deals extra damage. Every third auto must be between two and a half seconds. Actively, Jax gains bonus armor and MR at scales off of his AD and AP. Becky, let me Thwonk, Thwonk, Smash you. Ben is a fucking hoe. Thwonk, Thwonk, Smash. See, so here's the fun part. Jax's ultimate is just this power spike and power surge of damage and tankiness where you never expect it. That three hit passive, that Thwonk, Thwonk, Smash is brutal at all stages of the game. Since it scales off AP and the base damage increases every time you level up, you can do deceptive bursts if you fight an enemy for more than two seconds. Plus, his activatable ultimate is pretty damn strong too. Now, it is by far the most uninteresting looking ultimate in the whole game. No ultimate in the whole game looks as basic as Jax's. Hell, the transformation from Jace and Nidalee looks cooler than activating Jax's ultimate. But it doesn't make it any less strong. The armor and MR you get is actually kind of brutal broken, but that's why you only get it for a short period of time, and Jax's ultimate is all about the three hit passive anyway, which, fuck me, is it strong. So skill max, you can go literally whatever you want. Jax's skill max practically has no wrong choices. I personally go QWE, but some people like WQE, and some even max E first. It all depends on your playstyle and your matchup. I do QWE because the Q being up more often makes me stickier and safer because ward hops plus good damage and the usual kind of thing. It's really not too tough to figure out. But, how do I play Jax? The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test. Thwonk, thwonk, smash. You see, it's like when I go on a first date, you know? You thwonk once, everything seems fine. Decent restaurant, good service, did a pretty good job. Then you thwonk again. Things getting a little bit more heated, fancy restaurant, seafood dinner. Then smash. You get hit across the face with a beer bottle because you tried your secret move. The Bill Cosby. In order to master Jax, you have to master the thwonk, thwonk, smash. He's a duelist, a split pusher, and a secret ninja assassin. Playing Jax means embracing the Apache helicopter. First thing first, you need your machine gun. That's your passive. Bullets in the shape of a lamppost hitting you faster and faster and faster until you eliminate a terrorist threat. Next, you need your high-powered rotor blades and tail blade. That's your Q and your E. Your Q keeps you speedy, makes you jump on people with quick precision, and an Apache helicopter doesn't leave people alone until they're dead or have given us nuclear weapons. And your E is the top blades. An Apache helicopter is far too fast to be hit by mere mortal weapons or attacks, so once you've dodged plenty, you can strike fast with force. Next, we have your rockets. That's your W. Hit them with your machine gun, then you dodge with your rotors, and then when they think they have a tiny break from your onslaught, boom! You smash them with a bunch of rockets, and then, you know, auto attack reset. Very nice. And finally, we have the hull of the Apache. That's your ultimate. Activating your ultimate are when the powerful steel and titanium keeps you alive during the major fights when all else fails. When the minigun fails, when the rocket fails, when the dodging fails, you just ram them with the helicopter. Boom. Jax. Now let's make some big lamppost plays. I'm here. I'm dead. I'm killing Zaya. I killed Zaya. I'm attacking Zack. Fucking auto. I killed Annie. Kill we just gotta kill Zach now. <laughs> hey, we did it. That's pretty good. In lane, start E. Smack the enemy laner in their mini wave, aggroing the minions, and then press E. All of that blocked minion aggro will actually go ahead and feed the amount of damage increase on your E. During this, you can still auto attack. So you auto attack your enemy laner with your E up, and then eventually you stun them, and you get more damage, and you auto attack them more because, you know, they're stunned, and then you back off, and they're half their health, and you do it again. You do it again. You do it again. Just be careful and watch out for those sluts who run Ignite or Exhaust. Mid game, things are gonna start looking up for you. Your ultimate is here, so your dueling potential is pretty much the strongest in the whole game. Unless someone else is fed or a direct counter, you should be completely fine. The only thing you gotta watch for is the items Jax builds generally are very expensive and you generally go two damage items and then tank. So you might be pretty squishy, even though you do a ton of damage. Just go ahead and watch with your E and your ultimate and play safe. Manage your auto attack resets and activate your ultimate when you're about to take a ton of damage. Okay, all right, that's uh, wow, okay. <laughs> Late game, things actually get harder, believe it or not. You're a lot tankier now that you've passed that little rut of the two expensive item start, so you can deal with problems easier. However, while late game jacks can duel almost anyone in the game, you will get kited, you will get CC'd, you'll get focused, and ultimately destroyed if you go in alone or have a bad position during a team fight. You will get kited, stunned, and ultimately gangbanged so goddamn hard if you go in solo. Getting caught, jumping in deep when your team isn't there, anything. You can destroy squishies, 
but you need to flank or be more careful than normal even though you're Jax. You have to transition from going so hard in the mid game to back the fuck up in late. It's tough, which is why you generally split push with Jax because no one can actually stop you because you're goddamn Jax and the 1v1 potential is extremely easy. However, in team fights, you need to be careful. Sometimes you can't always split push, and in those situations, you need to figure out a way around this. For Jax builds, you build this. I mean, you don't really have to buy it. You can buy it. Probably should buy it. It's great. But I mean, you could go this instead, you know, play the Ruin King and Hextech instead. After that, build another damage item, and then go tank. It's pretty simple. Jax can build a lot of different items anyway. Play the Ruin King, Hextech Gunblade, Ravenous Titanic Hydra, tank items. It's very freeing. You have a lot of options. For masteries, I take Fervor. More damage, the more you attack. Why not? And for runes, standard attack speed and resistances, you can take whatever you really want. Hybrid penetration is good, AD is good, AP is all right, you know, you do you, boo boo. For Jax counters, I go with Jace, Malphite, and Fiora. Jace likes to poke you and hurts really bad, and Jax can't really do anything about it at all because you just knock him away, so it's pretty hard to deal with him. Malphite slows your attack speed, gets a free shield, or, you know, preventative shield, and has a crazy strong cheese wheel, plus a lot of CC, a little bit of movement speed with that cheese wheel, he is gross. And finally, Fiora, because she can just ridiculously easily parry your stun, because the timing is so obvious, and her movement speed and slows combined with all the crits, and the true damage, all that jazz can destroy Jax if she's good enough. And finally, before I go, here are the usual Jax clips. Enjoy. Hey, Bricky, what uh, what class does Echo fly in when he goes flying? Economy Economy class. plus? Yeah, okay. Oh, um, my God. All right, all right. Hey, what's Jax's favorite video game? Jax. Yep. <laughs> hey, Matt, what's Echo's favorite kind of food? Think about it long and hard, buddy. Uh, eclairs. E. coli. Actually, you, okay. I was gonna go with E. coli, but that works too. E. coli is not, not food. food. Yeah, but you can get it from food, so it's basically the same thing. Uh, Galio, I don't think you realize the straight, sheer power that I pres. Uh -oh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I got this. -na 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 -na. Bring it on. Uh. <laughs> no. 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 So let's wrap up Jax. One of the strongest duelists in the game, an amazing split pusher, extremely strong late game with an okay early game, but he is all single target damage. When faced with multiple people, he can have some serious issues. Out of like the 10 checkmark boxes of what makes a champion good, he marks off like 8, but those last 2 are why he stays balanced. Mostly. He'll never feel balanced when you're fighting him. Well, everybody, hope you've enjoyed our little guide to Thwonk Thwonk Smash. Real quick, let me hit you with that Loot Crate sponsorship. I may meme about it a lot, but I do enjoy the product, and I gotta go ahead and, you know, share it with the rest of you. Here are all the themes this month. There's some pretty goddamn solid ones, and especially the, uh, the regular and the gaming one this time around. You can go ahead and use LootCrate.com slash Bricky, promo code Bricky for 10% off. And if you do, I appreciate it immensely, as it does support me just as much as it supports them. My name is Bricky. And please don't fuck up my solo queue. Bye bye. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20 meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start.